This is the third part of this Smart Robot Car tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna cover the hardware upgrades, some connection updates, and also the code so you can finish it up and have fun with it. Welcome to my channel. This is Chen the Design Maker. This channel is all about designing and making cool tech projects. So if you are a tech geek like me, consider subscribe. So let's talk about some mechanical updates. Since this kit doesn't come with a good solution for holding the ultrasonic sensor, one of our subscriber, Yuri, who designed a little tiny part that you can 3D print and also hold the ultrasonic sensor in place. Thanks, Yuri. All you have to do is take out those uh, twisted wires, then use two tiny screws to fix it on the 3D printed parts. Then you can put it back to the assembly with a little force. You can find the 3D model down in the description and also where to get these little tiny screws. Another problem I suffered was the car was not going straight. You can see it from the videos. Sometimes when it's supposed to go straight up, uh, it's turning. It's not consistent as well. Sometimes it goes straight, sometimes it doesn't. So uh, after a couple of trials and errors, I realized uh, the problem was the caster wheel on the back. So sometimes when it turns, uh, it's holding position, which is uh, gonna drag the car. I tried to lubricate the wheel, but it doesn't help. So I decided to design my own third wheel. As you can see, it's a plastic part that holds the car up. All you have to do is to take out the original third wheel and uh, put it on with the same screws. You can find the link to this part in the description. Next, I want to talk about the electronic updates. Uh, during uh, the development for the codes, I realized uh, there were a couple of problems. The first one is the servo. We were using pin zero, but uh, if you are trying to get the ultrasonic data through the serial monitor, you have to leave the zero and one pin blank. So here we are moving the servo from pin 0 to pin 2. Another change is about the L298 and pins. There was a confliction on the servo.h file. Basically, if you're gonna use a servo.h, the pin 9 and pin 10 need to leave blank, or either your servo or your motor just won't work. To fix it, we'll just move the pin 8 to 10 we were using last time to pin 11 to 13. You might also want to check the motor connections to the L298N if you're noticing the two motors are running at a significantly different speed. They are identical motors and if the connections are solid, they should run at the same speed. Another thing you have to make sure is that your four batteries are really fresh so uh, you can control the ultrasonic sensor correctly. If your power is kind of low, uh, then it will cause all the problem, you know, it won't run properly. Another way to back it up is uh, to uh, use one of these. I was just dangling one of here. If you think four of the AA batteries doesn't work, um, you could take them out and uh, get one of these 9 volt do this and you can see the connection is just uh, two wires goes into the ground and V into our you know here I'm just being lazy and just sandwiched the wires between the uh, sensor shield and also the our you know itself so only use one at a time uh, try the double A's first and then maybe if it still doesn't work do the 9 volt at last, let's talk about the algorithm and the code. So the car should go straight all the time if there's nothing in front of it. And when it sees something at front, it will turn the servo or the ultrasonic sensor left to see if there are space available. If there is, it will turn left. If the left is also blocked, it will check the right side and if available, it will turn right. In the case where the front, left, and right are all blocked, it will reverse a little bit, then turn around. You can find the link to the code in the description. Just load it into your Arduino board and uh, it should work. 
I hope the code is pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. But if you're just getting started on Arduino projects, no worries. I will have a follow-up video to reveal the code in depth. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and also click on that bell to be notified when that video comes out. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and happy making. Oh, my way. Go. Ah, oh, it's good.